He's challenging Republican Senator Marco Rubio is previewing the strategy that he will use against her. The race will be a top priority for both parties in the fight for the control of the U.S. Senate. Our Samantha Joe Roth sat down with a two-term senator for an exclusive interview. I mean, she has no real achievements in her time in Washington. She Senator Marco Rubio is wasting no time trying to define Representative Val Demings. Speaking with Spectrum News, the Miami Republican called Demings a do-nothing Democrat who aligns with her party's far left wing. This is someone who has voted for 94 percent of the time with the uh, Ocasio-Cortez squad and 100 percent of the time with Pelosi. So those are, that's a pretty clear choice. The Congresswoman is someone who's worked in law enforcement for, for years. You know, she's some Somebody who only got a 70% from the ACLU. I know you have you said that she's pretty radical, but she's kind of in the middle. How do you, why do you characterize her like that? Well, I think if you think that someone who votes to, for example, be against a ban deporting uh, gang members, if you think that's in the center, if you think that voting for um, a bill that uh, prohibits asking for IDs from voters is in the center, if, if people think that's in the center, then, then that's one, I don't know what center that is. I know that you called her a Pelosi puppet. What would you say to people who think that you might be a puppet for for the former president, President Trump. I mean, I have a record of getting things done, and that sometimes meant me and President Trump didn't agree on things, and that's happened. You know, when he voted, uh, I felt strongly that the Constitution didn't allow a, a president to take money out of the military and put it into another deal, and even though I support the wall, I didn't support doing that. Rubio voted in January to certify the 2020 election. Spectrum News asked him about Trump's false claim last weekend that his defeat was, quote, the crime of the century. Rubio said he's seen no evidence of problems that would have changed the outcome. But Rubio says he does expect the former president to campaign for him when the time comes. Until then, he says he plans to highlight his own record. The group GovTrack.org ranks Rubio as one of the most effective lawmakers in Washington. I wrote and passed the PPP bill. I wrote and passed the VA accountability bill. I've been a leader and, you know, the top leader in the Senate in getting Florida, the Everglades funded again. As the race for his seat officially begins, Rubio acknowledges it'll be a competitive one. You never take anything for granted, and you shouldn't. I mean, the, just from a the strategic standpoint, I mean, Florida is a competitive state and always has been. Now, Rubio won re-election back in 2016 by seven percentage points, and many experts that are watching this race really expect that it's going to be a lot closer. We'll send it back to you. Samantha Joe Roth, live in Washington, D.C. Thank you. President Joe Biden.